Today I thought I might discuss a very common condition in women which affects 1 in 10 women or 10% of women called polycystic ovary syndrome. This is one of the commonest causes of infertility in women. 50% of women who have infertility will suffer from this condition. Polycystic ovary syndrome is characterized by three main features. One is irregular periods, increased levels of male hormones in the blood, and polycystic ovaries. Let's discuss each of these separately. Women who suffer from polycystic ovary syndrome have abnormal levels of hormones in their body. Hence, they get irregular periods. These hormone imbalance we will discuss in a minute. Either they have very scanty periods, which means very irregular. They don't happen every month or every 28 days like a normal cycle, or they do not have periods at all. Because of these irregular periods, they do not produce an egg during every menstrual cycle. And that is the reason why they are infertile. Second important feature of polycystic ovary syndrome is that these women have a very high level of male hormones in their body. Hormone called testosterone is very high. As a result, they start developing male features like loss of hair from the head, developing facial hair or excessive hair on their body. Their skin becomes very greasy and start developing acne. All this is because of high levels of testosterone. The third important feature of polycystic ovaries is that if you scan these patients, they will have little cysts in their ovaries. Now cysts are fluid filled spaces which can happen in different parts of our body like the liver, the pancreas, the spleen, the kidneys, in the lungs, etc, etc. Now these cysts in the ovaries and polycystic ovary syndrome are not true cysts. I've discussed ovarian cysts in my video above, so do watch it, please. The cysts that take place in polycystic ovary syndrome are actual follicles. Follicles are little fluid filled spaces surrounding the egg during menstruation. As menstruation happens in normal women, the egg is shed and the cysts disappear, those follicles disappear. In these women, these follicles do not disappear and they form very small little fluid filled spaces in the ovaries. The size of these cysts is very small, is about 8 millimeters or one third of an inch. So they are quite small. They look like cysts, but they're not true cysts. They are follicles which have not burst, hence the egg does not come out, which results in infertility in these women. The cause of polycystic ovary syndrome remains unknown. However, there is an imbalance in the hormone levels in the woman's body. Insulin levels are high, testosterone levels are high, Luteinizing hormones become low, prolactin levels are all over the place, and sex hormone binding globulin, all these hormone levels are abnormal. Which is the primary hormone nobody knows, which starts all this cascade of abnormal hormones, results in polycystic ovary syndrome. Also genetics play a major role because lots of patients with polycystic ovary syndrome runs in the family. The diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome is pretty straightforward. The symptoms of irregular periods, high levels of testosterone with all the side effects of excessive facial hair growth and body hair growth, etc. And multiple cysts on the ovaries on the ultrasound scan. If two out of these criteria are present, then the diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome is confirmed. So not every patient with polycystic ovary syndrome requires a scan, just the blood test and the history of irregular menstrual periods is enough to make a diagnosis. There is no cure for this condition. Hence, the treatment is aimed towards controlling the symptoms. Weight loss with exercise, healthy eating, etc. is going to help the symptoms of PCOS and might even help with fertility. 
if a lady has excessive hair on the face or on the body that can be removed with either a treatment like laser treatment shaving plucking etc or even there are medical treatment available which can be used hormone treatment and surgical treatment depends on the whether the woman wants to become pregnant or don't want to become pregnant if they do not wish to have pregnancy then oral contraceptive pill progesterone treatment and intrauterine surgical devices they all help control the symptoms from pcos and also they reduce the thickness of the lining of the uterus which can predispose to developing uterine cancer in a small percent of women surgery if the woman wants to become pregnant with ivf which is in vitro fertilization or with laparoscopic surgical drilling of the ovaries in which with a keyhole operation excessive tissues from the ovaries is removed so the levels of testosterone in these women go down so there are quite a few surgical options available and also there are lots of other treatment options available as i said there is slightly high risk of developing uterine cancer and some of these treatment aims is reducing the thickness of the uterus lining and that reduces the risk of uterine cancer over a long period of time i hope you found this video informative if you did then please do remember to like and subscribe and until next time i shall see you very soon if you have any questions to ask please write in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions the best i can thanks for watching